Hey everybody, welcome back to Supercard. I had like just recorded like maybe four minutes of this already, but it's it was like really acting up, so I had to like, you know, do a reboot of the computer and stuff. So hopefully I can remember what I had said so I can say it again. Uh, we're about 25 minutes away from it no longer being St. Patrick's Day. Um, I didn't do anything for St. Patrick's Day. I was at work this whole time, so... It wasn't much I could do. So, the first thing I want to get into... So, for my cards... Well, it's just my collection. Um, so, for the Ring Domination, I was the only person on my team affected by the glitch. A lot of people were hit by it. So, that glitch was... If you had noticed that... You know, like, I had three shards completed before the event even started. Everyone who had that couldn't claim whatever card they were on. Or any of the cards, really. Like, if I had three on the Survivor tier... If we went down to Legendary to get the Gold Dust, I still couldn't claim that. So, they Cat Daddy acknowledged that and said they're going to be sending out HBKs to everyone who was affected by it. I still haven't got mine. Everyone on my team, none of them were affected by this glitch, by the way, all got, they were just gifted a second Shawn Michaels. So, you know, that's great for my team. They all just got free Shawn Michaels Survivor Pros. And a lot of other people got that as well. Some people even got Gold Dust as well. They were just given two because, I don't know, maybe they thought they were affected by it. So, everyone on my team got that extra one. And I'm the only one who didn't get the HBK. All nine other... Excuse me. Wow, oh, those big hiccups. All other nine people got the second HBK. Now, I don't really care about getting the HPK. Yes, it would make my Road to Glory deck, but the next time there's an event card that moves in there, like a male event card, it's going to be pushed out anyways, so I don't really care if I don't get the Shawn Michaels. I've already got one. I'm happy with how I had built mine. You know, and there he is right now. And so, like, I don't really care if I get the second Shawn Michaels or not. Be like, maybe it would help if, because I think fusions are coming next week. Maybe it'd be good for that, but that's about it, I guess. But anyways, so yeah, St. Patrick's Day is the day people have an excuse to drink, you know, but you don't need an excuse to drink if you really want to. Um, you know, the only difference is there's more people that have come out and they're wearing green. That's about it, really. And everyone going, oh, you know, today, you know, I'm Irish. Well, that's great. Good for you. But, um, I don't know. I've never really liked St. Patrick's Day. Like, I, I just think it is an excuse for people in their late teens to early 20s to just drink a lot. That's about it. Um... So, yeah, that's my thoughts on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I didn't get to celebrate any of it because, one, I didn't even know it was today until... When did I find out? Monday. I found out that it was today, but... Because someone had asked me, what am I doing for St. Patrick's Day? And I said, well, when is it? Because I have no clue. And so they tell me, oh, yeah, it's this Thursday. I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to be at work. So I was grinding it out at work while everyone was, you know, off getting drunk off their face. But that's whatever. I, you know, in the end, I ended up making money rather than blowing uh, quite a lot on drinks and shots and what have you. So I think I ended up winning in the end. Would have liked to have gone out for a drink, but because um, I don't finish work till 11 o'clock at night. So... Everyone, uh, everyone that I know at least has, you know, they're already, you know, 10, 15 drinks in, so there's no way I could catch up to them. Plus, I like to drive home, make sure, I, I like to know my way home, and I don't really want to walk. I don't want to drive home, shower, change, because by then it'll be, right now, 11.40, around 11.45, I'll walk to the bar, by then it'll be past midnight, bars stop serving drinks at 2 and then I gotta walk home. Like, I'm gonna have to, I would have to take, like, eight shots back-to-back -back just to catch up to my friends, so that's a gigantic waste of money, in my opinion, when, you know, I could just come here and record this episode, so, you know, I'm doing it for you guys. All 700 and, what, 38 subscribers, which is fantastic. Uh, someone had written 
on uh, one of my videos earlier, I guess it was the last video I put up that I showed up in like a recommended channel or recommended videos. That's a big victory to me that I even showed up in a recommended anything, really. Like, I'm trying to remember the last thing, you know, I was recommended for that was good. Uh, and then, you know, when so at work, if, you know, who are we going to discipline? Uh, I don't know, pick Alex. <laughs> they pick me. Or, you know, who, who, you know, who needs to get an ass kicking? Uh, I recommend Alex. That's how it's always gone for me. Um, you know, not since I was in high school was I recommended for anything good. And even then, it was only stuff to do with music. And <laughs> that was about it. My other teachers uh, didn't like me, and I don't blame them. I didn't go to many classes because it wasn't music, and I decided to, you know, just screw off and hang out at, like, the coffee shop or, you know, the smoker's alleyway. That's how I spent high school. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you know, do something productive. Don't be like me. But, um, so, these new things that have come out, what, are, what were they called? Super tokens? So, Supercard announced this thing, they're called Super Tokens. Um, I don't know if they have them in Canada. I know they have them in the, in, you know, the good old US of A. And I know they don't have them in the UK. So, if you go to GameStop, or, I don't know if it's called EV Games in the States as well. I think, uh, in UK, the, uh, the store is called Game, and it's owned by GameStop, I think. I could be wrong. But anyways, EB Games, GameStop, same thing. You can buy, I think there's seven dollars, and you get a, a supercard token. Like, uh, if you've noticed, if you go to the bottom of the screen on supercard, like scroll all the way down to like uh, card catalog stuff like that, there's a new picture on the left where there's the question mark for you know information about the game. There's a little squiggly, weird-looking thing beside that's a QR scanner. So you press on that, it'll ask, can I have access to your camera? So you let it do that. You scan the QR code off the $7 token you just bought from EB Games or GameStop. I'm just going to say GameStop from now on. And you get an ultra rare card. That's the highest it goes, ultra rare. Uh, but there are unique images. So I believe there's Dean Ambrose, Undertaker, Brock Lesnar page and I'm sure there's others but those are the only ones I know and so you scan that you get the card in game it's uh, got a unique background and it's a different um, it's even a different image on the card but the stats are pretty much the same as what you'd see in ultra rare and I don't even know if you can use those images like for anything else like I don't know if it's just exclusive to that card or not I have no clue so you can then gift that card to two friends on your friends list as far as I know I could be getting this all wrong and I'm just going off what I read but cat daddy makes no sense when they uh, put anything in text or just anything they do in general so but you get an ultra rare card and I think it's like two rare cards you get and they're not unique rare cards that are a rare card you could pull off the board so you can gift that ultra rare to two friends, but we're in survivor tier, like on the brink of WrestleMania tier, and you get a free epic and a free legendary every month just for turning on the game when the clock resets, like when it hits midnight. Uh, I think it's midnight. I have no clue. But every day, you know, you add up on the daily login, you can get a free epic and a free legendary just like that so why am i going to spend seven dollars for just an ultra rare card if they went up to survivor maybe just so i could get some unique cards and i think daniel bryan's a card too but if it's ultra rare you know not really if it's this was like the beginning of season two when ultra rare cards were actually quite valuable at the beginning because you could only transfer over so many from season one if these were out when that happened, maybe they, you know, they would sell a bit more because, hey, I can have more ultra rare cards than everyone else at the beginning. Because I think you could move over one WrestleMania Pro and three singles. So the most you could make was two pros. If I could, 
you know, I get, hey, I got a couple Brock Lesners, then I've already got, you know, a couple, you know, a brand new Ultra Rare Pro, because those were key at the beginning, if you weren't just buying the packs of the legendaries so you could get the epics and, you know, what have you, all those. The super tokens make a lot of sense. Right now, near this end of the life cycle in Supercard for Season 2, um, I don't... <laughs> You're not going to get me to open any of those. I'm not going to... If I'm going to go to GameStop, I'm going to buy a game, not a $7 token for a card I'm never going to use. Like, the most I would use it for is my champion picture. And that's it. And I don't want to buy a card just for the champion picture. I would like to get a card because it helps out my deck. And, you know, it's got to be a good card. Like, I just proed the Booker T in Survivor that I have. I have no use for it. I'm not going to use that card at all. It doesn't even make my Road to Glory deck. I'm just leveling him up to save him either to just put a whole bunch of XP into one card or just, you know, save it for fusions. But, um, that's really it. So, after we pick this last card, that's actually going to be it for today. I don't know if I'm going to be putting up anything tomorrow. Tomorrow is my Friday night where I'm at work on the overnight. So it depends what time I wake up. If I wake up early enough in the day, maybe I will. Because, you know, I gotta, I gotta sleep and, you know, all that fun stuff. So by the looks of it, I'm probably going to get this Brie while I'm at work. So I won't be able to record that episode, or for the episode... But you know what? We'll see what happens. Uh, anything can change. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. Please take care.